Are you having difficulties purchasing your jump spikes? Here is some important information to help you buy the right spike. So here are the Nike Zoom Long Jump 4 and the Nike Triple Jump Elite. Both are the 2016 edition. What's the difference? The long jump is an event where an athlete is trying to bring the most amount of speed down the runway, then jump in the air to cover the most amount of distance before landing in the sand. The base of this sport is speed. The long jump spike looks very similar to a sprint spike. The sole is molded for the ball of the foot to make the most amount of contact while running. At the board, a jumper is to jump from a flat foot. There is a rubber heel to keep your foot stable upon impact on the board. The heel has padding when compared to a sprint spike, but is very little padding when compared to a triple jump spike. As you can see, the plate covers three-fourths of the foot, giving the sole much more support. The rounded ball of the foot area allows for an easier roll through to help propel you into your jump. Here are the pros. They look good. The straps help with extra grip around the foot. The zipper keeps the sand out. They are lightweight and sturdy. Overall, a solid shoe. Here are the cons. Purchasing the long jump spikes will limit your usage because you can't use the long jump spikes for a triple jump. The rounded ball of the foot and the high arch are the death of a triple jumper. Remember, all jumps are from a flat foot, so that doesn't give you a flat even ground. If you try to sprint in them, they will work. However, the average Nike sprint spike weighs about 6 ounces. These long jump shoes are 8.4. The Nike Triple Jump Elite. In the triple jump, an athlete jumps off one foot, lands on that same foot, then jumps to the other foot, then into the pit, while keeping their speed through their jump to maximize their total distance. This year, Nike finally gets it. The Nike Elite has a flat sole with a rounded ball of the foot. This design is sleek, and the shoe has a lot of support and is very lightweight. The heel has strong plastic spikes to create extra traction and grip. The shoe is softer when compared to the long jump spike and is a little more flimsy. Again, the strap is for added support. Here are the pros. They look good. And they're very comfortable. They feel like they belong on your foot. It's a great first attempt by Nike. These spikes weigh 8.6 ounces. The cons? These shoes only last one season. They are not durable. I've seen numerous athletes tear these shoes in one season. What to wear? If you sprint and do long jump, you need to buy sprint and long jump spikes. Do not long jump in sprint spikes. However, you can sprint in long jump spikes. If you do both the long and triple jump and money is no object, you can buy the long and triple jump spikes. However, if you can only afford one, you want to buy the triple jump spike because the long jump spikes do not have the correct support. You will not jump less in long jump because you're wearing triple jump spikes. As you can see, Greg Rutherford won the 2015 long jump championship in triple jump spikes. Here is one last secret. This year's shoe costs upwards of $100. If you're in a budget, purchase last year's shoe. It will be a lot cheaper. The only difference between this year's shoe and last year's shoe is the color. Nike makes one color per year and tells you to buy it. I found the Nike Triple Jump Elite at Ross for $17. So my suggestion is if you're looking for spikes, instead of going to a specific website, just Google search Nike Triple Jump Elite or Nike Zoom Long Jump and you will be able to compare prices and find the best price for you. If you have any further questions, Comment below or shoot me an email at info at